Hello YouTube, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day because in this video we're going to be learning how to do numerical derivatives in Python. Now not always in real life are you given equations for data that you're trying to analyze so sometimes you have to break out the numerical analysis to actually figure out what's going on with your data. So this video is going to be going over numerical derivatives and we're going to start here by using our import statement. So we're going to say from matplotlib import pyplot as plt. Now we're going to say from math import sine, cosine, and pi. And then from numpy we're going to import gradient and linspace. Now linspace is going to be our first operation so we're going to say that our variable t is linspace Let's just go from 0 to 2 times pi, and let's create a 1,000 entries. So what we're going to be doing in this video is actually taking the numerical derivative of sine, and to actually get the values for sine, we're going to create an empty list in y, and we're going to go and iterate through this t array, and we're going to say that for x in t, y dot append, and we're just going to add sine of x, to y. And if we actually print out y, what we can see, so we have a big list of numbers, and these are all sine values ranging from 0 to 2 pi, and there's a thousand in there. So now that we have t and we have y, let's actually just plot this and see what we get, just to make sure that our graph is actually correct. So we're going to say plt.plot t and y and then plt.show to actually get this to show up. Now let's run this, and I'm in PyCharm here, so these graphs are integrated within the IDE. And here we can see, yes, we're starting at zero, and let's actually add a grid, just to make it a little bit more visually satisfying. And we can see at around 3.14, we get zero, because sine of pi is zero, and sine of zero is zero. Okay, so we have our t and our y correct. Now, how do we actually go about taking this derivative? Well, we're going to be using a numpy function called gradient. And if you know how numerical derivatives work, what you're doing is you're taking, let's say, the x spot and the x plus 1 spot. In this spot, in this video, it's actually going to be t. So you're taking two consecutive points and taking the difference. So it's actually f of t plus 1 minus f of t divided by dt. And this is basically just your standard forward difference method. Gradient actually uses central difference method, but this is the main idea you're doing, is you're taking the difference between consecutive data points and dividing it by the increment in t to get the numerical derivative of that point. So if we want to do that, let's just say that dt equals gradient, and we're just going to pass in that entire y function. So if we actually want to analyze what this dt looks like, let's just comment out this plotting information, and let's add a blank print statement just to add a breakpoint. And if we debug this, let's open up our variables window, and if we look at dt, we see that it's a thousand in size, and the values are actually the differences in these sine values from this y list. And if we actually want to look at this, so let's plot this derivative now that we've numerically calculated everything. And this should be dy. I've been saying dt, but that's dy. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's actually get our dt value. So dt is the change in the time values for the function they got input into this sign. So if we take dt, we're going to see that the derivative, or dy dt, is just dy divided by dt. Simple enough, right? So let's go back into our plot, and let's make this, let's say plt.plot. We're going to be plotting this against time, so the first value is going to be t, the next one's going to be dy dt. And let's say x label, let's just call it t in radians. And let's say plot y label, 
that's going to be sine. Uh, let's just call it y because you know we can change the function. Let's not call it sine because it can be whatever. Let's go to our plot function. Let's say label equals function, and this down here is going to be label. The dy dt is going to be derivative. Okay, so we're going to call the legend. Now once we plot this, let's take a look at what we get. If you're familiar with derivatives, you should know that cosine is the derivative of sine, and the function is in blue here, and that's sine, and the orange line here is actually derivative, which is cosine. And cosine of zero is one. Cosine of pi is negative one, which is about 3.14 here on our plot, and it starts to come back up. That's the derivative we've calculated numerically. And we could also turn this around. Let's make the original function cosine, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine, right? So once we plot this, our function is blue in cosine, and the derivative of that is negative sine, which starts at zero and starts to come down. And we can change this function here to whatever we want. This is the function input. Input, and you know we could do sine, cosine, we could do whatever we want. Let's just say var. Let's make it to where it's easier to edit the function. var equals um, 3 times x cubed. So 3 times power of x to the third. We can change it to whatever we want. The numerical derivative concept here is still going to be the same. Let's just change it to 3x squared. Remember from the power rule that that derivative is actually going to be a linear value, right? So we have a line here in our derivative and the function is a parabola. And you know, just for another example, it's gonna be sine x times cosine x. Let's just make it a little bit fun. And if we plot that, that's our derivative there. So this is just a basic derivative calculator or numerical derivative script you can use. And this is using NumPy's default gradient function. So I hope this video is helpful. You can do a lot of stuff with this. You can even, you know, import values from Excel or you can do CSV values from, you know, any data source you can think of. So I hope this video is helpful and stay tuned for more engineering related Python videos.